Do you feel that you're doing everything right, but you're still not losing weight? Well, perhaps it's time to do a detox. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so now so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So in today's video, I'd like to discuss one of the reasons why you may have hit a weight loss plateau. So this I hear very commonly from many of my patients. They're eating right, they're exercising, now they're fasting, they're doing keto, they're doing all of these strategies, but they're still not losing weight. So one of the reasons could be that their body is just not equipped to handle what's going on. First, you have to be healthy in order to lose weight. So if your body is filled with toxins and is holding on to stored things like that, it's gonna be really difficult to lose weight because as you burn fat, toxins are stored in fat and if your body's not able to dispose of them properly, it may be resistant to release more toxins from the fat that's being stored. So what exactly does detox mean? Because I'm sure there's a lot of confusion. It basically just means that your body is getting rid of things that shouldn't be there in the first place. So your body is doing this naturally on a regular basis. But since we're so overwhelmed with the amount of chemicals and toxins in our environment, it gets difficult for the body to efficiently do its job. And then on top of that, with bad diet and digestion slowing down, it gets very hard for your body to get rid of all the things that it shouldn't have, and therefore it will store it in your fat tissue. So this can sometimes make the detox process more difficult. So what are some reasons why your body is having difficulty in the first place regarding toxins? Well. One of the main things is pesticides. Because of the things that we eat and the quality of the food nowadays, there's a lot of chemicals, especially pesticides and herbicides, in the foods that we eat. And I understand it's not possible to eat organic all the time. So if you were eating organic, obviously you're not gonna get those kinds of chemicals into your food. But a lot of us go to restaurants, a lot of us can't afford to eat organic all of the time, so we are getting pesticides in our diet. So ideally, you're gonna to wanna to try to do your best to eat as much organic as you can because that will lower the amount of pesticides and herbicides that get into your diet. So another topic, and this one is even bigger, I think, is the chemicals and endocrine disruptors that are in our beauty products. And this one is especially true for women because we use more uh, health and beauty products than men do between the makeup and the hair stuff and the things we put on our skin. A lot of these products contain a lot of chemicals, which means they are not natural and the body sees them as a threat and they can disrupt our endocrine system, which means that they can mess with our hormones. It's really important that you switch to natural beauty products. Now there are plenty of resources online. I will put something in the description of a website that we use to look at certain products to see what kind of chemicals are in them. So there's too many for me to list right here in the video, but you wanna just make sure you're using natural products for the most part or even all the time because that is a big source of chemical exposure, especially for you ladies out there. Next is heavy metals. So. You probably, I'm not talking about the, the, the bands and, and the music. I'm, I'm a big fan of heavy metal as, as a music source, but I don't necessarily want extra heavy metals in my body. Heavy metals can come from a variety of sources. There's uh, mercury in the fish, in the oceans. Mercury can come from fillings in our mouth and you have lead, cadmium, arsenic, aluminum. There's lots of heavy metals that when they get to be in high amounts become toxic to our body. So how do you know if you have heavy metal problems? Well, there's a variety of different tests out there. If you were to tell your doctor, they probably would want to run a blood test. We don't find that that's the best way to test for them. Other holistic providers might consider a provoked urine test. That's another way to do it. What we do at our clinic is use a hair test. This is the way that we find very useful to look at the levels of heavy metals and address accordingly. It's very simple. You just take a little piece of hair, you send it off to the lab, and you get an idea of what kind of metals and the amounts are in your body. So how do you get rid of heavy metals if you do find out you have them? 
Well, we use certain supplements to start to slowly detox the metals from the body. Uh, one of the supplements we use is some, a product called Zeolite. There's different brands out there, but we use one in particular. And zeolites are, they bind to the heavy metals and help bring them out of the body. But we use a variety of products. So I don't want to get into the specifics on that because there are different protocols. Then there are things like um, heat therapy, like saunas in particular. A sauna is a good way to sweat out toxins. Um, so that's just yet another idea. Now getting rid of heavy metals can be a long process, like mercury for example, can take up to two years to fully remove a lot of the mercury from your body. So it's not an overnight thing, but in general, trying to remove heavy metals and other toxins from your body is really important. Another thing that we do a couple times a year, we encourage our patients to do a detox uh, program from a company we use called Standard Process where you're doing certain shakes and certain supplements that help to clean out the liver and the colon and the kidneys, which speeds up the uh, removal of chemicals and waste that has built up over time. I encourage patients to do this at least once a year, if not twice a year. We generally encourage them to do it in the spring and the fall, but it can be done at any time. So that's yet another strategy, just to get the organs of elimination to be working more efficiently so that things can be moved out of the body more efficiently and not build up. So in any case, this is a weight loss strategy that we use in our clinic is to look at toxicity in the body because if you're hitting a plateau, this could be the reason. It's not the only reason, but it could be. So let me know, have you ever done a detox? Have you ever been tested for heavy metals? I'm very curious, so let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time. Thank you. वीगन प्लेनेट को सब्सक्राइब करने के लिए यहां क्लिक करें और दबाएं बेल आइकॉन नए वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए